If we could achieve the greenest green building possible, super green, wouldn't that be a lot like how nature functions? A living, breathing, closed loop system? Google it. Living, building, challenge. You'll find this. What if every single act of design and construction made the world a better place? Living Building Challenge is a philosophy, advocacy tool, and certification program that addresses development at all scales. Download the complete document to learn more. We did download it. Pretty dreamy. But has anyone actually built a living building? Is it possible? The Birchie School is an independent elementary school on Capitol Hill in Seattle. The new science wing is projected to be the first living building 2.0 in Washington state. Only four living buildings have been certified in the world. The Birchie School will be the fifth. It was constructed in 2010, but to be certified, you need to prove how well your building operates by measuring results with people actually using the building for a full year. In 2010, the City of Seattle created a living building pilot program to encourage more teams to try to reach this highest standard. Here's some of the sustainable elements of the Birchie School Science Wing. Net zero energy is achieved with super insulating walls, radiant floor heating, and a large array of solar panels. Net zero water is achieved by harvesting rainwater to supply all of the building's needs, including a treatment system for drinking water. An innovative living wall of plants in the building's interior continuously treats gray water through evapotranspiration. The composting toilet requires very little water and is not connected to the city sewer system. No wastewater or storm water is sent down any city drain lines. A moss roof and a rain garden hold and infiltrate all of the storm water. This effectively returns the site to better than pre-development conditions, like the way a forest behaves. The Ethnobotanical Teaching Garden features native and drought tolerant plants that produce edible fruit and native craft materials. All of the sustainability features, including monitoring equipment, are accessible and visible to students. The building is their curriculum. These are elementary school students. Will they grow up to take for granted that all buildings can be like this? 